Hello beautiful spirits, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna, this is Irish Donna Tarot, and this is a Sagittarius update, uh, energy update on your reading. Love, love, love. Welcome. So we have the energy overall that you're carrying into this reading with your partner of feeling very defeated by something. You know, like stick a fork in that, I'm done. You know, it can be walking away, definitely. But we have this energy. You know, I like this. I mean, it's okay to close out something that doesn't work in a relationship is one of the many meanings of the Ten of Swords. It doesn't have to be an ending to the relationship. And from what I can see, the two of you are working through a very, some, some thorny issues. You know, that's what a successful relationship does. But the overall energy from Spirit is awakening genius. This is very imperative because when we can become more emotionally intelligent and problem-solving oriented, it shows that you can overcome a lot of difficulties, right? That's how we grow within a relationship. You're in uncharted waters, the uncharted sea, you know, but you have a lot of beautiful energy here, a pelican that is, you know, they drop babies at your door if you're not careful, but we also have body and soul. This is a relationship that you really hold in high regard and it's something that you want to work for you in a very successful way. The current energy is very good. The current energy is that, you know, you're letting something go, some sort of difficulty, betrayal, argument, something that was said is finished, it's over. The Ace of Wands says that the two of you have fire in your belly to, and, and very traditional beliefs about relationship. It looks like you're on the same page, generically speaking, about relationships and about your desires. What brings you to the reading at this time is it looks like you're having a pretty robust debate um, over other people, how both of you interact with other people. This could be an example of this would be that maybe your partner has a really good female or male friend or whoever's the opposite sex and that that is causing troubles. It can be family members. It can be, you know, sort of something. Both of you are feeling that the relationship is being unduly influenced perhaps, but it looks like there's some conflict here that you want to resolve. You love each other very, very much, Sagittarius. This is very beautiful energy. We have the three of coins, the ability to really work together, you know, to solve problems. That's the card that really says, let's work this through, let's solve the problems. It's Capricorn energy. We have fire sign energy, Taurus energy, uh, Leo energy, Cancerian energy, Gemini energy, but you're in this energy in the near future here of really working through problems. It is Aquarius energy, you know, mind over matter, uh, being trying to be very enlightened, trying to heal things that have been damaging. You know, all relationships have issues and um, it's just part of our growth process. We get the four of coins. Both of you are holding on to each other. You know, you both feel very tender hearted. You don't want to really admit how much something has bothered you in the recent past or currently. The Ace of Swords says that the gift that Spirit is giving you is clarity. This beautiful gift of clarity is may come through your partner, may come through, you know, an outside source, but you have Leo energy here. Both of you have fire in your belly to make this relationship work. And the Eight of Coins says that when you're together, you are evolving. It's body and soul growth. And it really speaks to the fact that this is an area that you haven't, you know, something that you haven't gone through in the past. Overall, this is a very nice reading. And so let's look and see what we have here for you. And I want to thank all of my beautiful subscribers for supporting me with the like, subscribe, share, comments, because without that interaction, YouTube does not put the videos out for other people to see. And uh, so anyway, I just want to thank everybody who has helped me grow the channel and interacting with the video is the number one way to grow. So the Ace of Wands, why is it here for a beautiful Sagittarius friend? Six of Cups. 
All right. Six of Cups is a reunion card. It's coming together. We have many reunions. You know, it it's, can be after a fight. Come, oh, look at this. Two cards were stuck. All right. Oh, look at that. <laughs> well, that is, we have, we go from the One of Wands to the Eight of Wands and the Six of Cups. So this is the two of you loving each other so very much, wanting that reunion, being very passionately committed to the love and growing old together. This is soulmate energy, Scorpio energy, Sagittarius energy. Sag, here you are in your reading. We just love to see that. You have made your proper uh, cameo appearance in your own reading. So it speaks to the fact that both of you have a lot of fire in your belly with that ace and eight of wands. That's a nine of wands. Now, for many of you, you could be married. The hair font energy is a traditional love relationship. And we have the hermit card. So both of you have pulled away from each other a bit to try to find answers, to do some soul searching. But that is a card of wisdom and problem solving through intellectual application and and communication skills, being practical, being grounded, being down to earth. It's Virgo energy. The energy of this issue that seems to bring you into the reading at this time is a hanged man. You seem to be at an impasse in a disagreement about other people or something. It doesn't matter really what the disagreement is. That it's something that's been going on for a while. The hanged man is a very good energy because it speaks to the fact, it's Pisces, it speaks to the fact that you're on a spiritual journey, that you're searching for answers. But I would say that this is my only hanged man in this, you know, in all of my decks that looks like a cartoon character that's been punched. See these little stars here? Like, you know, when the head, when the blood rushes to your head. Uh, it can be a little overwhelming when you have an epiphany or a realization. It's like, oh, those aha moments when you look at something from the perspective of a partner that they do have a good point and that, you know, whatever you were feeling, if you were feeling very self-righteous, that that might make you take a deep breath almost of shock about what your person says because it has validity. <clears throat> The Queen of Cups being very, absolutely Cancerian energy. The two of you love to nurture each other. You love to be kind. You love cuddling and tenderness and cute notes and a, you know, uh, left on the bathroom wind, you know, mirror. But the Death card has said that you have not been as communicative. You have really pinched yourself off a little bit as a couple from those beautiful emotions. Um, this stress is causing you to, to pull back. And we see the moon card, Pisces energy, Scorpio energy. So tell us more about these cards. So there could have been a text message because the Innocence of Swords is Page of Swords uh, with somebody that your person may have had a relationship with in the past. Could be exes. Not from Texas. It's a song, if you aren't familiar with that. But it looks as though there's uh, something that really is has been deemed a betrayal of some sort, and it has to do with internet or you know social media. Did you like somebody's you know posts? Did you declare yourselves as a couple? Is it obvious to the world that you're a couple? So there may be that sort of energy going on. The good news is, is that both of you are very, very powerfully attractive, uh, but it does make the bo both of you very, you know, sort of uh, watchful and protective of the relationship. So with good reason, right? Why the? I can't talk, right? All right. So the three of coins energy at the top of this reading is the highest it can be achieved at this time, and that's collaboration. Here's what I'm getting. You don't know quite how to get it. So let's see if we can help you out here. That is Pisces energy. Excuse me, that's Scorpio energy. You kind of have your head in the clouds. You're not really seeing this clearly. How to do this. The way forward. What's the way forward for a beautiful Sagittarius friends? Give us some clues. Spirit, 
We have Spirit of Pentacles. I love it. Nurture that relationship, but also be disciplined. The daddy spirit is father's father energy. Father love energy is all about solving a problem, doing your best, being logical, moving things forward, and getting out of your feels and into a practical sort of problem-solving energy. It means being grounded, being loving in your communication, but being very direct and practical. So we have the Six of Swords. The two of you are moving forward into a healing phase in the near future. And that energy is a sky father. Be strategic, you know, think, play the long game, you know, giving in to your whims or giving in to your ego at a given moment usually does cause, you know, more harm than good. And that's what this is. There's some ego driven the way you're arguing. Remember that when we argue, it is what's right, the goal, instead of who's right. Because when we get who's right, then we have a winner and now we have a loser. And you want to have a win-win. So always go in any disagreement and take time to have arguments, you know, keep them logical. You know, if you have a long-term argument, you know, try to limit it, you know, set some boundaries. Let's talk about this for 10 minutes. And when it gets too heated, we're going to put it aside and we'll take another run at it tomorrow. Try to be practical in your energy. Rome was not built in a day and a wonderful, legendary love affair is not built in a day. The Four of Pentacles energy. Look at that energy. Both of you are, oh, look it. I love it. Temperance energy. The two of you are body and soul invested in this relationship. You adore each other. Even though you're holding back right now, it's Capricorn. You are trying to get grounded, but you are in an uncharted waters. But temperance is reconciliation, reconciling your differences, finding your happiness, and look at the Ten of Cups happily ever after in that energy and we also have six of pentacles equal give and take in your relationship you know equal give and take can be any number of things but you have great clarity as a couple you both do like to tell the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth and the fool card says that this will be a high area of redemption for you the love of the truth will set you free this, you know, you're, in your hopes and fears is your ability to be able to feel that you're heard. The Nine of Swords says that you're all up in your head. Does my partner really understand me? Do they understand that there are certain things that I won't put up with because I do have a healthy sense of self-esteem? When we look at the King of Wands, he is balanced. The kings are balanced. They know how to conduct themselves. And so what we see is that both of you have a lot of pride, a lot of dignity. You have a lot of success in your lives as individual people. And you really are going to give up this burden of e anything that's ego-driven. And I'm going to put that Ten of Wands right there next to that Ten of Swords, which is the enlightenment that you're getting right now. We have the Eight of Pentacles, one of my very favorite cards. It speaks to sort of getting to know you, getting to know all about you. You know, it's acknowledging, using your genius level to learn new skills, awakening genius. That's the progress that you are making right now. That's like the, the journeyman. You know, we have apprentice, journeyman, master, and you're in this journeyman energy. And when we get to the Ten of Coins, we're in mastery energy. So let's see what, what more spirit can tell us about this. Okay, so you're getting very smart in that you're learning to walk away when things get too heated. And you also are learning to stop assuming the worst. The Five of Coins energy speaks to the fact that you're walking away from, you know, saying, you know, it's like those, oh, you never listened to me, you know, oh, I, you know, you're ignoring me. It's, it's getting over, being productive and leaving behind this kind of energy and moving into a much more healing and spiritual energy. So you are learning, you're on a, a huge learning curve. It's a beautiful reading because again, Life is evolution, not revolution, hopefully most of the time anyway. 
So I'm going to leave it there, Sagittarius. It's been a joy speaking with you. Thank you for joining me. Um, i sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. And I thank you so much. Hope to see you again soon in another reading. Bye-bye.